Hey everyone, this is Richard here at the Car Barn. Today I'm actually driving in a 2011. This is a Jeep Wrangler. This is the unlimited hardtop with a six-speed manual. Pretty fun to drive. And as usual here at the Car Barn, the reason we do the, these videos is so obviously you can find out a little bit about the vehicle, but I want to let you know a little bit more about that. The reason we do the videos is we're going to drive the vehicle around as you would be driving it if you were going to be an owner of a vehicle and to point out the features benefits of it but also maybe any flaws that it might have to be totally transparent and here at the car barn we want you to know everything we know about a vehicle so when we get them in we run them through the service department get all the maintenance and uh, you know preventative maintenance servicing done if there's things to fix repair replace we do all that and then between those steps and getting the detail done we're going to take it out drive it around make sure everything's good to go and point out those features benefits flaws and that way we're being totally transparent if you're coming from out of town out of state it's kind of nothing nothing worse than um, coming to look a vehicle and it's nothing like what the pictures look like or just kind of uh uh, disappointment so we want you to know that you can come and show up with confidence that you know everything about that vehicle that there is to know that we're aware of and it makes it a great experience for you and so we're uh, stopping up here we've been driving around for about 20 minutes it runs and drives really really well it's nice and tight it's solid there's no squeaks rattles weird noises things like that uh, I'm going to flip the camera around. We're going to take a look at the inside, the outside, and also well, trying to find any little flaws we can on the vehicle as well. So I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. And uh, real quick, point out a few things. Uh, obviously, the first thing we'll point out, 97,000, or excuse me, 94,000 miles on it. Again, it is a manual. It's got the little cap for the shifter that's getting fixed, replaced, or it's on order that was missing and uh, again you're seeing this vehicle before it's actually been detailed so it might appear a little dirty and that's okay we don't mind you seeing what we see so jump out here and we'll take a little closer look it does have power windows power door locks a keyless entry there's your driver's door sometimes any of the little wear things that you see we might be able to uh, touch those up make them look a little better and uh, driver's seat in really really good shape no tears no scuffs no holes doesn't even look like there's any real serious wear on it at all on the steering wheel you'll see that it does have controls for the stereo and uh, phone mute button things like that as well as your cruise control and whatnot okay oh, hold on half a second about that all right and up on the dash nice and clean there's no cracks no uh, scratches things like that we're going to take a closer look at the uh, outside of the hard top as well but what's kind of cool about these is this one comes off in the front section and the rear just uh, turn these and you can release the whole top take it off so you could literally drive around with just the two driver passenger uh, open and leave the back covered it's kind of cool and then put these into the back it does have the uh, lights and sound bar into the roll bar which is really neat get a great sound system awful fun we had one like this last year in the summertime taking it out to sand hollow with with a bunch of kids it was fun to have the top off and the music going just a lot of fun vehicle uh, also i want to point out you've got your power windows right in the center here your controls down below for your heat and air conditioning and then down below that you have a traction control and uh, some other little features there's your rear um excuse me that's your your uh, power mirror sorry get a little tongue tied and then manual controls for putting it into four wheel four wheel low and so on nice stereo it does uh, have the single disc but it is set up for mp3s Okay, hold on a second, Let's sneak to the back. And then in the back, nice and clean. Seats do fold down on these. You can see how that headrest flops back. 
when it comes up the headrest goes out with it and back seats in really good shape as well uh, backs of the front seats are nice and clean carpets are in great shape again this is going to be something we have to clean up vacuum out that kind of thing but there's no uh there's no holes no uh, uh tears no stains that i can see so that'll clean up really well and going in around to the far back open that up it does have the rear wiper and rear defrost when you put these seats down, they're actually quite uh, roomy. And this one does have the Infinity bass sound system in it, so it sounds nice. And it's got an added Jeep mat there. It's got some storage space underneath. Okay, we're going to close that. It does have the tow package on it. And then going around this side, we're going to come back and look at the outside a little closer in a second. Just wanted to finish the inside here. This door is nice and clean. Nice and clean there. And then on this side, in good shape. Got a little bit of wear on there. We touched up, cleaned up maybe. And then this seat is in good shape. And mostly just a little dirty there but overall in really really good shape again this is a 2011 94,000 miles on it this is a manual this is a six cylinder all right let's go take a look at the outside a little closer now obviously it's the bright blue the plastics on here will get uh, cleaned up uh, refinished so to speak so they look a little cleaner they get faded with the sun but overall in good good shape does have the driving lights in the front bumper. Hood and the front grill look nice and, uh, you know, in good shape. I don't see any real dents or anything there. Going down this side, really, uh, really nice and clean. And uh, no dents or dings there. The hard top appears to be in really good shape. Take a look at that all the way around. The back looks good. I'm going to double check one thing that I may have missed, but up on the top looks pretty good. Fits well. It definitely is a quiet, uh, it fits good and snug. I don't hear a lot of road noise. Been on the freeway with it. Don't hear a lot of wind noise, that type of thing. Do you see one dent here? Fairly small, right in the corner, but a little spot that's going to need touched up, cleaned up. And then going down this side is in really good shape. Uh, see a few surface, surface really light scratches, but those will buff out. So you're actually pretty good overall inside and out. I want to go back to the front bumper for a second here. Yep, I knew I'd seen this before. See a little bit of a bump here in the plastic. That may or may not be repairable the way it is. If you can get in there to it, sometimes they can heat those up and pop that out. So there you go. Runs and drives awesome. If you need financing help here at the Car Barn, really simple. Just go to barnloan.com, fill out the form. If you've got a co-signer, it'll ask for the co-borrower. Fill out the information for them. Just click on the submit button. Oh, 30 minutes to an hour. We got an approval for you. And... Uh, we get all that handled first. For a lot of people, that's great. They know if they come in and drive a vehicle, they can drive out of there with it. So, again, here, this is Richard at the Car Barn. If you want to give us a call direct, you can reach us at 435-215-7362. If you need to get me personally, you can reach me at 435-773-2022. And uh, you can also, if you have a first-time buyer issue, you've never had a car loan before, believe it or not, we can usually get you approved on your own. There's a few little basic, basic requirements, but just give me a call. I'll be glad to go over those with you. We appreciate you watching our videos and hope you have an awesome day.